some of the best ways to tie down would be the J-hook groove right here, or if you notice right here, this has the pop-up chains. But occasionally, you get a trailer that has neither. Then you'll be using stake pockets or spools as chaining points on your trailer. If you go and look, there's a information plaque on the side of the trailer that tells you all the working load limits of all your chaining points. Now, this stake pocket here is rated at 4,500 pounds. The spools are rated similar. If you need more than that, you can go around the stake pocket and a spool and increase it to 6,500 pounds. You can go around two spools and do the same thing. When I wrap my chain around here, you're hooking on the opposite side of the weld to itself to make a nice teardrop. Another thing you should always do, always have the chain facing point facing up. That way, if the chain comes down and touches the trailer, or if it's close to the trailer, it's not going to come undone. However, if you chain the other way and the chain starts to get loose, it can push itself off the hook and become completely unsecured.